What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be swapping the rear bumper on Brian's hard body here. He finally got a roll pan. Um, actually, we've been having this for uh, six months. Or six months? No, five months actually. Five months, five months. Five months. And the reason why it took us so long to put it on is because he wanted to get it kind of coated or painted or uh, uh, one of those two. So we finally got it powder coated, thankfully. Uh, our good friend that we met at the coating place, Anthony, did this for him. And it looks awesome. It looks super white here on the video. Uh, it's definitely going to be a little bit wider than the truck itself, uh, but it's going to look a lot better in there compared to the current bumper, which we have it. Here is the black one. It's not necessarily bad, but I think Brian's been wanting to do this update for a little yeah. while. Uh, you excited, bro? Yeah, I am. <laughs> So we are going to go in here and start removing this old one. Uh, Brian was saying there is basically six bolts holding kind of the bar that holds the bumper. We are going to try to remove the whole thing as one piece instead of having to take the bumper off and then going in there and removing the bars that hold the bumper up. Um, that way we can just knock it all at once, hopefully, if we can get the right tools in there, the right sizes. Brian, what, what was going on back there? Uh, so the inner part. I guess the, the bolt head, it's a size 19, and the outside should be, I think, an 18 or 17. So, yeah. so we're going to go under there, uh, show you guys which bolts, and then just try to take it off and put the new one in place. We honestly haven't even test fitted that at all. So we just kind of ran and got it painted. And I mean, the, the reviews, they're like a 60, 40, 60% say it's, it's a direct fit. And then the other 40% were saying like, you probably have to do like some slight bending, but it's nothing crazy or at all. So, well, I'm hoping that it just, it's a direct fit. Yeah, we are hoping it's just gonna be no struggle putting it in there, but knowing our luck, we're probably gonna struggle with this for a little bit, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Uh, so fingers crossed, let's get to it. All right guys, so here we are looking underneath the truck and uh, down there, um, Brian, if you can point out where the bolt is over there. Right there. <laughs> We're holding wires out of the way, guys, and it's a little awkward. So those two bolts that hold the main bar for the bumper are going to be 19 millimeter. Uh, if you wanted to take off the bumper by itself and then come back in and take off uh, the actual bar that holds them up, the ones in the front are going to be a little bit smaller. And there are three of them on each side. There's three of them on each side. They're going to be uh, maybe somewhere like a 17 or something like that. And then the back ones, uh, there's three of them back there too, Brian? Or three. Is there two? There's three of them. So there's three of them there and they're all 19 millimeters. So I recommend you get a power tool if you can. If not, get a breaker bar and you should be able to get them uh, uh, loose. So we are gonna remove this here really quick, hopefully. And then maybe try to clean out a lot of this wiring. The old owner, I guess, used to tow stuff and he did this kind of ghetto rig uh, wiring harness. You can look at that. It's We don't even know what that goes to. So we'll probably try to clean this up and hopefully make it a little bit nicer. I think, do you still, do you have reverse lights? So you don't have reverse I lights? I still don't have reverse lights. You still lights. don't have reverse lights. So yeah, we'll probably try to figure that out of here in a little bit, but let's get those out. 19 millimeter uh, socket and wrenches and you should be able to get those bolts out. Let's do it. So we've been dealing with this for uh, probably 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I don't even know. Brian's all geared up now. He is going to go underneath the truck and we're going to cut the bolts out of there. We're going to grind them off because basically the bolts are loose in the bumper. They're like not actually uh, holding the bumper part of it into the truck, but the nut won't come off the bolt. It's like rusted in there somehow or cross treaded or I don't know how they put these things on here. So we are tired of dealing with them and we are just going to grind them off and cut them off. So that's what Brian's gearing gear up to do right now. Safety first, get all the stuff so you don't get burned or get stuff on your face and let's get it done. Hey guys, real quick, and if you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button uh, or leave a comment or something. Help us with the algorithm, help us get a couple more subscribers. We're so close to reaching our October goal of 3,000 subscribers, so give us a hand. But if you do wanna maybe support the channel in a different way, you can always pick up a shirt, pick up a sticker, check out our store. Uh, again, we'll leave you guys a link, a link in the description. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. We have finally taken off the bumper now and look at that, it looks a little bit cooler, I guess you could say maybe. Uh, that bumper was a pain in the butt and it was mainly this bolt. They just didn't wanna come off for some reason. So we had to grind them off and then we are 
Now have here the old bumper and we have the new roll pen that's gonna go in place. Pretty excited about that. But before we go into putting that in place and where it needs to go, we are gonna come over here and clean up some of this, especially this rat's nest here. Telling you guys, <laughs> this is just painful to see. We've been looking at plenty of this stuff. Every time we try to do something on Brian's truck, when we try to fix the stereo, that's exactly how it looked behind the radio. When we try to do other stuff, we always encounter something like this. So kind of sucks, but we are gonna clean it up, get rid of it, and then we're gonna come in here and put the new roll pan. And it should be fairly easy. We have some bolts, uh, holes here that we're gonna use. There's another one that's on this bottom part. Uh, so basically it attaches with two bolts there and then it attaches with another two bolts on that side and we are pretty much good to go. So let's get it in there. So we had to go to the store because we didn't have any bolts here and we were trying to find some that would match and the closest thing we got was basically this uh, number 12-24 and then we got them about an inch long uh, because we think that should be enough for us to get in there. I mean, the bottom part is mainly for lining it up so we know where we need to drill on the top part of it. Uh, and then after that, I think the top part is what's gonna do most of the, the heavy weight uh, carrying. So we are going to put first with the bottom ones, align it, get it all nice and, and, and where it needs to go, and then mark the spots here on the top, come in with a drill, and then bolt everything up. So it's starting to look a little dark, so hopefully it doesn't rain here while we're doing this. So let's hurry up and get it done. Well, so much for uh, trying to get this done before it started raining. As you can see, it just kind of started pouring down. Good old Houston weather, burning hot 10 minutes ago, and now it's just storming. So, uh, some quick details that I can tell you, I guess, while we kind of wait for this to pass. And we did notice that uh, it is not quite perfect aligned in there. Um, this, if you put it on one side, basically the other side seems to be just a little bit off. We had to kind of put the, the um, bolts in there a little bit crooked. So it's, like I said, it's not the best method, but we're just trying to line it up. And as long as we can put it up and drill the other ones, we should be good to go. Hopefully you guys can hear me through all this rain, but basically we just gotta wait till it stops so we can continue doing this. So we'll be back in a second. It is now a new day and finally there's no more rain so we can finish this up and the way we set it up basically is we use two bolts on the bottom of it um, to kind of hold it as you can see here it's just kind of hanging uh, so we used those two and then we pushed it up to where we could align it the way we wanted to make sure it, lo it all looks good then we came in here and marked the spot you see that little yellow dot in there then we came with our hole punch made the punch and now we're getting ready to drill some holes so we can then attach it. So then once we attach it, uh, again, at least in this truck, it didn't seem to fully, fully line up with the uh, holes on the bottom. So once we attach it at the top, then we're gonna come here into the bottom of it and drill out a little bit just where we need it so we can attach the other bolts that we have for it. Um, and for the bottom here, guys, the bolts that we ended up using was number 12, 20, uh, dash 24, by about an inch long. Those were the ones that we found to work the best with those uh, already pre-built nuts in there. So one thing to keep in mind. So now we are ready to drill the holes. We're gonna do that real quick and line up everything else. Let's do it. So while trying to put the rope pan in here, we ran into a small problem, which was the lights that we already installed. If you have lights like we did and you did it exactly like we did it before, uh, basically we had them attached to this part of the bed. So now that we're putting the new uh, roll pan in here, it actually hits here and you won't be able to see the light. So we had to move them. So basically what we did is we drill some small holes down here and then uh, use this little L brackets. These are leftovers from our power, wind, uh, power lock install. So I'll link you guys to the top here so you guys can check it out if you want to see that video. But basically the leftover little brackets from it, we used them, we moved this, the light down here and now it should be out of the way right on uh, so we can put the rope pan in place and it won't be affected by it. So now we're good to go. We're gonna put the rope pan in here and start attaching everything to it. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
check it out. Now that is the whitest part of the truck at this moment. It looks super clean, but look how good it came out. It did give us a little bit of struggle. We did have to make some extra holes, especially here on the bottom around this section. Um, the ones that came already kind of done uh, did not match up exactly how we wanted them to. So we ended up making some new ones right above them. Uh, and then the top ones were fine. We lined all that up. We have a very good, nice gap even from uh, side to side here. The tailgate opens just fine. So it is looking good. We got our light working as well. He didn't have lights before because the previous owner had made a mess with that wiring in there. So now it's good to go. And that is looking sweet. So there you have it guys, that's how it is to install this. I mean, it was a pretty good mod. It did give us some str some struggles, like I said. Uh, I would say, I don't know, out of, out of, out of a five installation wise, the difficulty probably be like a, maybe a two, maybe a three? What yeah, about a three. A three? Just because you did have to kind of work it into spot. The holes that comes pre-drilled with, they're not 100% exact to where they need to go. But as you saw, it does look pretty good. Brian, what do you think? Uh, I like the end result of it. It looks a lot better than the OEM bumper. It looks great. <laughs> so we're pretty happy with how it looks. I think it looks great, especially with the white paint and everything right now. Uh, that should give Brian a little more excuse to get his truck painted, hopefully soon. Uh, uh, beginning of the next year, maybe. <laughs> but that's really all we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what we're doing, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, or maybe leave us a comment below. Tell us what you think. And hopefully we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. It looks naked from like this angle, but you're like, okay, I, I see you, Ben. <laughs>